and uh, cast this one. So we're only going to do a couple of series from replays. We're going to keep some of the replays for another day as well, just to kind of add an extra day of content somewhere, just give us some more stuff to cast, basically, uh, is kind of the plan. So to the top left-hand side, the red turn player here is Optimus. And he's going up against the yellow Protoss Maxed, the bottom right-hand side. Uh, I'm just going to very quickly edit the bracket command. There we go. Alright, so, uh, again, set up into this, and obviously we saw a couple of SCVs on their way out very early here, and it's going to be a proxy 2 Rex from Optimus to start off in game number 1 against Maxed. So, starting up with a quick, fast proxy 2 Rex, we are going to be seeing a probe coming across the map here from Maxed, so you will be able to scout the lack of a barracks in the main base, which is obviously already a little bit, a little bit of information to be gained. And obviously from there you can start to react by, well, deciding what you want to do against this. So we're going to be seeing the Cyber Next Core will come down very soon. As soon as he sees this lack of racks, he will not want to expand. Although he actually throws down the expansion before he sees the lack of racks. I wonder if he tries to keep it up here. I guess he may try to. What is interesting is he sees just one gas, which is very weird for a proxy like this. So it kind of looks like it might be a... It's, it's really weird because it looks like a Reaper expand with like the racks maybe just hidden over here or so, or just a Reaper on the low ground. So while he will make a Zelda and a Cyber Call, he's probably thinking to himself here, yeah, Max said like, ah, you know, this is actually not so bad for me. You know, he's probably just got one Rax, he's probably a Reaper proxy, but it's actually a Marine proxy. And a bunker already coming up at the front is going to really make life a little bit difficult here for Max said. Obviously the uh, Nexus, a building, which is still building doesn't have the range to see building structures here, so he doesn't know about these bunkers until the marines jump into it. Even then, I mean, is Optimus even going to reveal this yet until the second bunker's up? Maybe not. He's really going to keep this a surprise for as long as possible. He probably doesn't want the Nexus to be cancelled. He probably wants the Nexus to be used uh, to be kind of finished so that he can at least guarantee the kill rather than giving Max Ed the 300 minerals back that he would get from a cancel, so... That's definitely a possibility here as well. As Max said, moves forwards, now he's going to see the bunkers and it is too late to cancel the Nexus. So, Marines in there, and I'm not sure you're going to be able to break that, as Max said right now. On the plus side, obviously, there's no expansion at home for Optimus, so you can kind of give this base up and throw down your own tech and play from there, but it's already a little bit late in this game. To kind of... Uh, it's just so tough. He didn't see this coming at all. He didn't see the bunkers coming up even, so he wasn't able to throw down tech already, cancel the Nexus, etc., Zalatan is still going to set up the ramp. I do like the Adept moving across, but with the factory already finished up at home, this is going to be a defense in position for Optimus. I mean, a Cyclone on the way, as long as that comes out, that Adept isn't really going to be able to do much at all, so that's not going to be too useful here as we do see Optimus with a couple of SCVs and some Marines are going to be able to come up this ramp and already find themselves a Zalat. The Stalker now has to kite away. I'm going to see the Marines here starting to down this pylon, and there's that bunker from Optimus to fully wall off this area, so now probes can't even pull through here until the pylon's gone. In which case, this may be already just a little bit too late, because now nothing is powered here for Maxed. So that's all very painful, as we're going to be seeing the Stalker is. Well, I'm going to try and cut away, but just so many probes are going to be going down. And this second Stalker was so close to finishing, it was 30 out of 30. And it just didn't come out here. And obviously, that is just a little bit of a shame, as we are going to be seeing these probes just continue to drop. And at this stage, it looks as though Maxed will drop game number one. And that is how Optimus picks up the first game of this best of three. So Optimus players. In the top right hand side, the Red Terran who is up a game in the best of three is Optimus from Team Revolution, the Dutch Terran player who looking good so far today. And to the bottom left hand side, our yellow Protoss player is from Invictus Gaming, Max a Chinese player who just recently has suddenly started to take part in a lot of these competitions once again. So starting to take part in a lot of these competitions once again is always great to see. It's always a lot of fun to watch these guys uh, taking part and to see them uh, kind of coming back. Like, Max has one of these old-school Chinese players as well who, you know, alongside Jim, was really someone who played, a, you know, he was in a lot of the previous WCS Premier Leagues and so on, even. And yet, now, we don't really see much of Max Ed, right? So, now that we don't see so much of Max Ed, um, I feel as though... It feels like maybe, 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 like, now he's kind of coming back again, like he's playing a little bit more. It's always weird, like, the Chinese scene seems to change so much. Like, one week this player seems to be doing great, and then, you know, the player who we thought was doing amazing suddenly isn't doing as well. You know, for example, Cyan was meant to be, like, an absolute god of the Chinese scene, and suddenly he just dropped off into nothingness. 
time is obviously the big Chinese player we talk about right now, and another Chinese player that has dropped off is Ayasoni, for example. So it's very interesting here as we do see this Rax about to finish up. A V across the map just hidden away here already is looking as though Optimus wants to be a little bit cheeky with a proxy, and that factory is going to drop down as Maxet pulls away through the center of the map. So Maxet pulling away through the center, this SCV chasing down that probe, and we are going to be seeing the factory is on its way up. So factory coming in right now. And obviously we're going to be seeing a command center trying to be faked here by Optimus. He doesn't actually want to build a CC. He wants to kill this probe while looking as though it's a CC. And that's going to be good enough for him for now. Pulls that worker back up to the high ground. And we are just going to be seeing the uh, Nexus here from Maxed is going to be finishing up very soon. But the proxy from Optimus is on its way. And again, Maxed has no idea about it for, you know, as much as he cares. This looks very standard. Apart from the fact that it is marine production rather than reaper production, I suppose. That's one thing that doesn't look quite as standard here, I, su I, I imagine. So we are going to be seeing this probe just going to get pushed away to the center. as a starport even getting proxies next to this factory. So this generally looks most like something like a widow mine drop initially, although he does actually start up a cyclone. Usually if the starport gets proxies like this, you see kind of dropping widow mines early in the game, and you see those kind of just hitting very early and maybe being aggressive. Though we don't see that so much anymore, because one of the painful things about that used to be the lack of detection was what made it so powerful, because it was so early. Nowadays you don't need detection to clean up the widow mines after they fire, so it isn't as potent, and that isn't one of the reasons we don't see that proxy factory and proxy starport for widow mine drops anymore. Because all you have to do is micro correctly, and all you're ever going to get is one worker per widow mine at most. Usually, you know. Obviously, you can get more. Obviously, micro can be done incorrectly. Obviously, the Proos player can make mistakes. But generally, you should only be getting one pro per widow mine. And that's just not enough to justify the proxy. But the Cyclones, well, that's definitely going to be an aggressive way to play this. He's got some Marines coming forwards with an SEV. And in terms of what's been seen by Max said, I'm not sure when the last time he checked into the natural was, but I think it was a while ago. So I don't think he really knows exactly what's going on. Pylon on the low ground just now means he doesn't even have a shield battery here just yet. As the medevac actually drops on to the side. Well, it doesn't even drop to the side. just gives high ground vision. And that's going to empower the warp gate and the stalker. And unfortunately for Max, that's a big loss. Because now, that pylon which is here to block the rip is popping up. I mean, that's a huge delay on this uh, stalker and warp gate. And that's really going to affect him. He is Corona boosting out an immortal. But as these cyclones keep on doing damage, I mean... They can actually cause a lot of chaos. If this warp gate goes down, that would be absolutely huge. I'm just going to be seeing the uh, Cyber Next cause continue to take a lot of damage. He's not quite going to get it, but it does give him a chance now to drop back into the natural. But he'll find this pylon, which means that shield batteries are not really going to be able to come up here, most likely. One stalker going down, the Cyclones continue to fight this. The Adept is also going to fall. Probes will start to pull on into this as a bunker from the low ground is now set up. There's going to be a bunker on the high ground as well. The Viking is uh, taking some shots right now. The Immortal causing some chaos and actually does manage to pick off the Viking and the Cyclone. And for now, Optimus has to back away, but 13 workers killed. It's already a good start, but Maxed for now is holding on and he has the Immortal up, which should be a big part of him being able to push this away. The Stalkers, too, are great units in terms of being able to push back those units. As we are going to be seeing this... Uh, Tank sieges up just to the side. Observer gets taken down. As that Observer gets taken down, Optimus here is still able to keep on pushing forwards a little bit. That one Immortal and a few Stalks are not really enough on their own to really make this work. It's going to be seen as you know, gathering together and trying to push forwards again. The Cyclone gets kept alive. What I love right now for Optimus is his army's just getting better at controlling an area. He's already got the position on the natural, and by kind of building tanks and liberators, he's only going to improve his position on the natural. And that's very, very, very scary here for Maxed, as we'll see a cancel on this bunker. A few Marines working away on this shield battery here. Stalker's still coming in, a little bit of back and forth. Siege tank from Optimus continues to move on forwards and again firing away onto a set of those stalkers already. And we are going to be seeing Libre already picking off one of the stalkers, the second stalker going down. Again, it's so difficult for Maxed to engage into this here because the tanks are so powerful, the Liberators are going to be so powerful as well. I mean, it's okay for him to buy time though. If he can buy time, he has got the double base, which will help him get more units up than you Optimus can build. And that goes a long way, but. Now, at some point, you just got to realize that the situation is not getting any better for you. So the left-hand side, the Immortal is going to get rid of a Cyclone. He is going to get rid of the Bunker. Maybe now just time for him to back away, but maybe too late, actually, because he's already lost all the Stalkers, and the Immortal even is getting very, very low. Another few Stalkers warp in, but that I mean, one of them is even already below half health. I'm just going to be seeing these Marines continue to push on forwards. Optimus 
Again, some good initial damage, and it was the follow-up that really made it so difficult. The zone control of the Siege Tank and the Liberators, how do you engage into that? It's so very difficult, and now Optimus continues to work his way through this natural nexus, and as that falls up, I mean, Maxed is pretty much forced in towards this fight. He doesn't have the anti-air that he needs to get rid of the Liberators, though. He lost too many Stalkers before. The probes try and tank a little bit, but the Liberators get enough damage done, and Optimus picks up the 2-0 win against Maxed.